So I guess it's that time of the week again. Welcome everyone to another episode of the FIFA 20 News Show. Today we have part one for this week and we're wrapping up all the latest news and topics that surround the world of FIFA. So we're going to be talking about things like Footmas, Ultimate Team updates, licensing news and all that kind of stuff. So if you do enjoy today's video, please leave a thumbs up for me. And if you are new around here and you want to know all the latest FIFA 20 news and updates, we do these shows every week. So if you don't want to miss anything, make sure you subscribe today. Today's video is sponsored by OneFootball. OneFootball is the best app to get all the latest football news and live updates. You can check scores, tables, and news from across the world, any competition you want. I've been using this app for many, many years before they've even sponsored the channel. And it's the only football app I've got on my phone because it covers everything. So if you want to download it yourself, check out my link in the description. You can download it for free. If you want a podcast version of this news show, make sure you check out uh, any of your sites that you use. You can search up Fever 20 or Vapex Karma. It should pop up. So last week, we spoke about a Swedish club partnering up with EA again. And another Swedish club has put on their website that they're partnering up with EA again as well. This one is called AIK Football. And they basically put out an article on their website saying that EA Sports FIFA is their official video game partner again. It says AIK and EA Sports FIFA can proudly announce that we have extended our long-standing cooperation where EA FIFA Sports becomes AIK's official video game partner during the All-Swedish season 2020. It's a bit translated this website so just keep it in mind. Just as it should be, AIK is included in FIFA 20 All-Swedish season where you as a player can pull on the black match shirt and represent AIK with our fantastic players and compete against our All-Swedish competitors. Build your own AIK team with both current players and your favorite AIKs who have gone on into the European professional life in the super popular FIFA 20 Ultimate Team game mode. Of course, you play with our world famous match stands adorned with the most beautiful club brand in the world. You can also take the football back to the street with the new small game mode known as Volta Football. Then it says player Sebastian Larsson in FIFA 20. He's got a real face. Uh, I'm not sure if this means they're going to have more real faces for these kinds of clubs now. But we'll see what happens, I'm not really sure, because it's a bit weird that they, they just like put out articles, because they're already licensed in the game, and they have been for a few years, so I'm not sure why this is such a big deal, unless they're official partner clubs now, where they get new faces and stuff like that. We've already seen them partner up with South American clubs and give them new faces and stuff, so maybe they're doing it with some Swedish clubs as well, but I'm not really 100% sure. Then it says, eSports betting continues 2020, AIK steps into the new FIFA season, we have a focus on becoming even stronger and having a team with a genuine AIK connection. Pretty much some esports stuff there. So obviously they need EA's game for esports because they've got their own players too. So with esports, you're going to see a lot more partnerships and stuff. And uh, I think that's why we're getting a lot more licensing now because they want to work with EA because they're, they're into the esports scene. So the esports scene is going to be good for licensing deals and stuff. And it'll be interesting to see what comes in the future in terms of partnerships. So this week they have Footmas, and I'm sure everyone knows by now what Footmas is. You get SBCs to do every day. There's different stuff, and there's different cards. So we'll talk about that probably more in the foot section. But I wanted to talk about Footmas being a disappointment for a lot of people in the community. So basically there's a lot of people that feel that a lot of these SBCs are very, very expensive. And because they're on tradable cards as well, you can just buy a tradable version with a similar overall and stuff, and you get better value for coins. So a lot of the SBCs, if you go on Footbin, have a lot of downvotes. Some have good upvotes, some have very, very bad downvotes, like 85 to 90% down. So a lot of people are not happy because of the cost, I presume. But then we had some major FIFA influencers complaining as well. And uh, we have people like Nick 28T that said, EA Sports' greed has not only ruined Footmas, but also ruined Foot. Disgraceful promotion that was always meant to give back to their community after a full year of earning billions. I'm disappointed greatly with Foot 20 so far this year. What about you guys? And then he continues on and says, For context, number one, Footmas Fakir, who is untradeable and a good buy to your coins, is 200k to complete. Number two, Inform Fakir, who is barely worse, is 23k on the market and you can always get your coins back. EA plus Footmas equals greed. End of Fever 20. This is a new level of cash cow for them. Well, I guess he's right. Why would you spend 200k when you can just spend 23k for something that's just a little bit worse on paper? And then we had Nepenfez as well, who's always been a bit vocal when it comes to foot promos and stuff. He complained and said, EA need to arrange a representative to have a recorded open discussion with a game changer on Twitch, Mixer, YouTube, or wherever to give us some direct answers to questions the community is asking. Footmas is a disgrace. This game is a disgrace and we deserve better. And uh, 6,000 and a half agreed with that. Chewboy replies to that. Now, Chewboy used to work at EA, so he knows the internals. 
And he goes, legal and finance team won't allow that. I tried once. He's referring to the discussion. And he goes, I mean, you could, but they'll have to skip questions or give generic answers. So obviously, if they come out and talk, it might affect the company. And then they're not going to do that, really. But yeah, apparently towards the end of the week, it started getting a little bit better. We had a De Gea SBC that went about 55 to 60K, which wasn't too bad. I actually completed it. It wasn't too bad. I'll throw him in my squad. I got the Premier League squad gun, so I don't mind having a 90 rated keeper there for 60K. Obviously, I could have bought maybe the 89 version for half the price, but it is what it is. It's Christmas. Might as well get that red card. But in regards to the other things, anything that's above like 200K, I'm not spending. I haven't even got the coins for that, to be honest. But I can see that a lot of cards have been overpriced, especially the ones that came out at the start of Footmas. Uh, some people are praising a few of the cards that came out later on in the week. Don't even bother with the loan ones. It's a bit of a joke, those loan cards. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think of Footmas so far. Obviously, EA is still making some good money out of it. So next up, I want to talk about the Copa Libertadores DLC. It's coming out in March 2020. It's going to be an update to the game. And apparently with this DLC, all the clubs that are participating in it are going to be licensed. So regardless on whether Konami has their license at the moment, apparently they're going to be licensed in FIFA. So that's the word going around anyway. So clubs like Boca Juniors or River Plate could be licensed now, even though right now they're generic in the game. To further support the rumors, Lucas Pizzati, who is always pretty good with this kind of stuff, put out a tweet that said, Conmebol has released the Libertadores 2020 club handbook. The federation emphasizes the availability of clubs and all their intellectual property, which means licensing, for partners to use. Already in the document, refer to rights to video game granted to EA. So we're going to take a look at the handbook. And uh, I only typed in like Fever 20 and EA Sports because it's all in like a different language. So I couldn't understand it, but Lucas probably understands it better than me. And I found one paragraph that referred to EA and Fever 20. And it says... The rights of the exploitation of video games are held by the company EA Sports, the Conmebol Libertadores being present with its participating clubs in the FIFA 2020 edition. Now, I think they're interpreting the line with its participating clubs as the line that pretty much says, you know, they're going to have the license for every club participating in this competition. It's not really 100% sure at the moment, but that's what the rumor is. Now, there was this one screenshot on the website and someone pointed it out, out to me. It's a little bit of a, a long shot, I guess, but... With this screenshot, you can sort of see where the arrow is pointing that it sort of looks like River Plate colors and it looks like the River Plate logo. It is a bit blurry, so it's very hard to spot it, but some people are saying that could be River Plate's logo, suggesting that EA has the license for the, for the logo with this DLC update. And I'm not sure if it is, it's very, very, very hard to tell. But if you take a look at the Libertadores reveal trailer, you can see EA using clips from River Plate, Boca Juniors, all that, all those kinds of unlicensed teams in the trailer. So maybe they do have the license when the time comes. Now, if we take a look at Konami-owned licenses, these are the licenses that EA could acquire through the Copa Libertadores loophole. So teams like Flamengo, Palmeiras, Alianza Lima, also River Plate, Sao Paulo, Colo Colo, Boca Juniors. Those are the teams that are owned by Konami at the moment for this year. But EA could acquire those through the loophole. So I guess it makes sense when we saw how many licenses EA lost. They knew they were getting this Libertadores DLC, which let them use the teams eventually anyway. So I guess EA's uh, legal or marketing department or licensing department is pretty smart. I just wish we still had Juventus licensed. And this is similar to how the AFC Champions League license in PES allows Konami to use teams that are owned by EA. So this is going to be working the same way because they have like the Libertadores license, they can use whatever team is participating in that competition. This licensing thing is a little bit confusing at times, but I guess when it comes to EA, they know what they're doing with the licensing and uh, we'll see what happens with this. Now, it was also recently announced that there is a new ball for the Copa Libertadores 2020 and this is going to be the ball. It's a Nike ball and it looks pretty cool. It's got orange, you know, a bit of blue, I think that is. So it's a nice Nike ball. But this is what they're going to add into FIFA when the time comes with the DLC. You know, with the World Cup DLC, they give you the official match ball as well. So stay on the lookout for this one in March. This ball will be added into the game with the DLC. So let's move on to some foot updates and uh, we'll talk about all the SBCs and stuff. So with Footmas, it's hard to cover, you know, what exact SBCs they released because every day there's new ones dropping. But at the moment, there was a Rebic one and a De Gea one. I'm making this video a few days like ago. And uh, we have De Gea already completed there, which is good. There's also this Footmas Challenge one, which gives you a rare Electrum Players Pack. There's six days left on that one, and it's worth 6,000 coins. So 
It's got 90% approval, so it must be cheap. They also added in a new Player of the Month SBC for Timor Werner, who got the Bundesliga Player of the Month. Now this one is going for 283,000 coins on the PlayStation. It's got 85% dislike, so maybe it's a bit expensive, I don't know. But I just like to look at Footbin to see if people are happy or not with the SBCs. There's three challenges I believe you have to do. The first one features an exchange of a squad featuring Bundesliga players. And you get a Prime Electrum Players Pack for that one. And then you have to do Germany as well, featuring players from Germany. You get a small Rare Gold Players Pack. And then an 86 rated squad as well. With a chemistry minimum of 60, you get another rare Electrum pack there. So, there's also time for this Diego Carlos SBC as well. It's a road to the final card. And he's worth apparently 10,000 coins to do this SBC from scratch. And it's got 80% approval. Let's see the challenges. You have to exchange a squad featuring players from La Liga and players from Brazil as well. This one needs a minimum overall of 84. So, not too bad as well. Couple rewards there. There's also this other SBC for Yannick Balassi. This one got added. It's a road to the final card for Europa League as well. And it's currently trading at about 32,000 coins on the PlayStation if you were to do it from scratch. Let's take a look at the requirements. It's got an 84% approval rate on Footbin. And you basically have to do one challenge. You need one Liga Nos player, one Team of the Week player, minimum 83 overall rating, 75 chemistry there. Now, if you need something else to watch, make sure you hit the card in the middle. It'll take you to another FIFA 20 video of mine. I'll see you next time.